All right, now that I got the truck cooled down a little bit, <clears throat> so how's everybody been? Blah, blah, blah. So, hey guys, how has everybody been doing? Long time, no video. Um, so, what has led me to look at this new piece of equipment? So let's not worry about the trailer. I'll give you a quick glimpse of a video that's going to be coming up. New trailer set up, <clears throat> but it's not my mowing trailer. However, I may have done a thing. It's already a little bit dirty. I'm uh, giving it a, uh, a demo and uh, seeing how it does and what I think about it. Tried it out on a couple customers' lawns already. Uh, we're going to uh, head back over to my place now, mow my lawn, and uh, talk about some things that right off the cuff that I like, dislike, whatever, and uh, whether I'm going to uh, make a decision on it or not. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna, I guess we could just look at some. It cuts it up pretty fine. I'm gonna look under the deck. I haven't even looked under the deck to see what kind of blades we're running. So, pretty good cut on the grass. 
bit. I want to come down here in the shade. So this, the Husqvarna bagger, uh, there's nothing I like about it. Nothing, not one thing. Yeah, actually, hopefully they don't get mad. I already scraped it up. Um, it is, it's steel. So durability, yeah. It's, but it's extremely heavy for such a tiny bag. And then to open it up, you have this clip. And if you look at how the screw is in here, you have to pull this out. So it sets in like that. You pull it out. Then you can pull it up to get the bottom to swing out. Because the bottom of it fits behind these tabs right here. So this doesn't come off. It just swings. So if you're... Like if you're dumping where I did, it's pretty, it's not too bad. But if you're flipping, getting this thing up overhead or over to this level on a truck, and then you're trying to undo this, undo that, undo that, plus dealing with how heavy it is. And then if you got wet grass in there, uh, that's just, I do not like that. Way too heavy. All right, so this is the the uh, V548, 48-inch deck, 7-gauge welded deck, oh, commercial deck. <clears throat> I like where you stand in. I think it's more comfortable than the, uh, I think it's more comfortable than the grandstand. It's got a lot more leeway with your, uh, let's just looking to see what that is i don't even know what that is but uh <clears throat> so it's more comfortable than the grandstand it's got a little more balance to it taking this off is way easier than the grandstand i mean you just pull it and the grandstand you guys know has tabs out on the end you have to push and pull i mean they're not it's not a big big thing but getting to the your oil fill and i'm not sure oh so the oil drain, you know, you got your little, your tube there that you can slide your pan right there and open up your oil to drain it. So that's nice and easy. Oil fills easy. Uh, oil filter, easy. Battery, obviously easy, fuses. Closes up. Uh, digital, this one has like I said, this is a demo, so it's 10 hours on it. Um, I, I saw some stuff where people were talking about how this having the operator presence and the throttle on the same side was difficult, but I, uh, I hold it like this anyway. So I've got my left hand for the throttle, and then I can just grab this with my left hand and kick my blades on so it's not a big deal at all I actually like the extra safety of having to set the e-brake so it doesn't so the motor doesn't die I actually like that because a lot of times new guys will hop on or hop off of a mower the grandstand and the grandstand will roll um, so I like that I think just this might be a little gimmicky but still I mean I would probably prefer this being a button and you pull back like on the grandstand to let it go but this for your huh that being for your release which you squeezed up because it didn't release that just getting that to drop that's kind of nifty this is way light I mean it's uh it's totally different than coming back on the grandstand it's I don't know if it's the ergonomics or the spring setup in there but it's way easier um, obviously it's got it's got the Kawasaki 751 in it uh, so a lot more horse this thing is ridiculously fast um, I know I think online it says look at the little 
little hide. I know they said the hydros were low on low this morning, so they had to top them off. So they must have spilled some when they did that. I know they spilled some gas when they were doing that. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> I know it says it's rated for like 11 miles an hour, and yeah, it it. I mean, I don't know. It's way faster than the grandstand, which my grandstand is a 36 inch. So it's a smaller engine. I think it's only rated for eight miles an hour. Um, but yeah, this thing is ridiculously fast. So I really like that. It's a really smooth ride. Turns really nice, even with the bigger tires. Um, I like it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it back. Or maybe I should look up how that works before I just do it. And uh, see what kind of blade setup is on this thing. All right, so I just jacked it up like this. <clears throat> We're not gonna get too crazy underneath here. Uh, no, my head's not under it. But I do have my belt clip messed up. All right. So these are the blades. Those are some, oh, they're dull as crap. Well, they cut pretty good for super dull blades. Yeah, those blades have... Uh, see, I only mowed two lawns, or three counting my own. And uh, I don't even think the paint's off those blades. So the blades definitely need to come off and sharpened. I like these monster freaking spindle housings. Those are cast iron. Uh, baffle set. I mean, there's your... Your holes. I'm assuming these holes in the deck are to put a, a mulch baffling on there. But yeah, just a basic undercarriage setup. Three blades, 48 inch deck. Uh, I don't know what size blade that is. I could, off the top of my head, I have frig, I don't know. I 42 divided by 3, how about, or 48 divided by 3, how about that? So anyway, uh, that's what it looks like underneath. There's no buildup. I mean, it looks like the normal grass is going to catch or build up on the normal spots on the humps and on the spindle housings. Uh, but yeah, I, I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, doesn't feel like there's any under here in the lip. pretty smooth I don't feel anything back in there it's gonna catch grass but yeah that's your deck for the 48 inch so yesterday I got this text with this picture um so like I said I got that text and that picture the actual control lever on the grandstand broke, the metal. No springs, no attachments, no wires. The actual weld for the physical handle broke. So he tries to duct tape it. Nay, hey man, I give it to him. They, I have got a really good team out on the road right now that uh, they, they work well together. And they're all about getting the job done and getting it done right. And they're, uh, I, I'm really happy with uh, the team I got on the road right now. <clears throat> so they try to band aid it. Obviously, the, the band aid didn't work. Um, duct tape's just not going to do anything on a weld. So I think they got one lawn done with the duct tape. So he could have been, he could have actually made it through duct taping every single lawn all day long. And he would have limped through that way. But uh, I took him the other 30 inch that I had on my trailer. And so they, they basically they push mode, or not basically, they did push mode the rest of their day yesterday. And they had, they had some decent sized lawns. But they were push mow, you know, so they had two thirties out on the lawns. And they they got it done. They got it done really. They made a really good time. Uh, I was 
I was kind of uh, surprised that they got finished uh, on a nine, I think, nine hour day. Um, so that was really good for them. For anyone, I mean. But anyway, so that's what led me. I, I tried to reach out to some other lawn care companies, see if they had an extra 36 that I could borrow while this thing's in the shop. It's a warranty item, but nobody stocks that piece, so it's going to be in the shop for a minute. It's at the shop that I do not prefer. Uh, that's a whole other story on why it's why it's there instead of where it should be, where I where I'm going now. But uh, anyway, so so that broke, and uh, so it's in the shop. It's getting fixed. Um, I'm gonna get over. I don't need to be in this dang lane anymore. But uh, so like I reached out to all the, uh, the people. I'm sorry, I'm being all scatterbrained as I'm driving. Traffic's being all wonky today. There's an air show going on, so planes are flying over, and people are trying to drive and watch the air, watch the planes fly over, and they're just making, they're being silly. So I reached out to some other lawn care companies. Uh, one company just got back to me today. He's a bigger company. He's like, oh man. He's like, I didn't see. All I did was send him a text and asked him if he had a spare 36 in his shop. And he's like, we don't have anything spare laying around right now. But he goes, if you don't have it figured out yet, we'll figure something out. Just let me, let me know what we're doing. So it's it's cool to have that uh, rapport with companies that are that are larger because he's a uh, he's not one of the big players in town but he's right on that cusp of becoming a big player in town he's actually I don't know I know in the snow game he, he's a pretty big player in the snow game in town now and uh, on the commercial mowing side he is a bigger game than residential how about that I don't know I don't know how many crews he runs now um, Anyway, that anyway, it's good to have good rapport, good relationships like that with other companies that you can reach out and say, "Hey, I need some help," and they're willing to to try and help you, you know, somehow. But uh, anyway, so he he didn't have anything. I couldn't get a hold of, you know, I couldn't find a spare mower laying around town. So I went to one dealer and. Asked about a demo or even a rental, they they pretty much laughed. They're the the dealer that they're really close to my house. Is the only positive thing about them. Uh, they're like, yeah, we don't demo anything, and we have no rentals. I was like, dude, I'll rent one of those old jalopy used mowers you're trying to sell. They're like, yeah, we don't do that. And no, no, whatever. So I go over to this other dealership where I'm going now, over to Liberty, Liberty Lawn and Saw. And I didn't even ask. I, I There's one salesman I deal with pretty much exclusively. Uh, if he's in the shop, I deal with him. I walk in, and he's like, hey, guys, go over, just talking. I'm like, man, you'll never believe what happened to my grandstand. And I mentioned it. He's like, oh, I've seen that a couple times. He goes, it's a really odd, oddball one. He goes, I have seen it. And we're just talking, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm just eyeballing, trying to make some decisions. And we were talking about a few different mowers in there, and he's like, you know what? He goes, if you just want to load one up and take it tomorrow, he goes, if anything to get you through your day, he goes, just take it. Take it as a demo. And uh, I went back and forth between this Husky and the Xmark. And the only thing I, what really deterred me away from the wanting to demo the X mark is you have to lift the deck physically you know you go to each side you lift it move the pins and I had my gravely was that way and I absolutely hated hated doing it I don't know why it ain't like I changed it a bunch of times but I, I hated doing it and uh, so I was like yeah I don't really want to try the X mark just because just for that very reason I just don't like that deck I don't like having to lift the deck. I want my, I'm lazy. I want my, my deck on a, on a 
bar to lift it. I only want one one adjustment. That's all I want to do. And uh, so he's like, "Well, he goes, you want to try the Husqvarna?" He goes, "We got we got a, the 48. You can demo that. And that's really the size I was looking at. I mean, I had I had a 52x mark before Laser Z. I know I I don't want to go back into zero turns. Um, I, I like the stand-ons. I like the uh, trailer footprint that I can." You know, the amount of equipment I, you know, I don't have to buy a, a 14 or a 16 or an 18 foot trailer, a 12 foot trailer. And I can, I can easily put a, I mean, I used to put my laser Z, my 36 grandstand and my 30 inch turf master on my six and a half by 12 trailer. Now that was packed super tight. Um, yeah, it was not a good load I mean I was crawling over mowers but they fit right to the gate well I can do that same setup a 52 a 36 and a 30 all stand on or in the push and have plenty of room on the trailer so that's why one reason I want to go with stand ons I like the stand ons better uh, the Mormon get them into more places uh, they're safer I don't have to worry about them on the hill they they hang a hill way better than a zero turn I hang a hill my experience I've lost uh, I, I don't think I ever had a real sliding problem out of the laser Z I never had it really on a hill that I can think of uh, the Toro 50 that I had before the laser Z I broke it loose a couple of times and you guys just broke loose on a, on a zero turn you already know there's nothing you can do you break loose on a Z and you're just uh, you're on it for the ride which is how you always see the posts of guys going into creeks and getting stuck under mowers well if you're on a stand on you step off the damn thing you know no mowers worth the life um, so for that fact I like stand ons but anyway this is just me babbling as I uh, take this mower back out I haven't fully decided on whether I want to buy it or not I like the mower. I feel a lot better after looking under the deck because there was a couple things with the cut. Like I had to cut my lawn twice. and uh, Which I normally cut my lawn twice anything, in, anyway. Just because I like the stripes to be more prominent. So I usually go over my lower, my, over my lawn with the mower twice. Just, just for the striping aspect. And uh, But this one I was noticing there was there was some bent grass and not not cut grass but after I looked under the deck then I understood why the, the blades have no edge to them whatsoever so I cut today those three lawns with um, with bent blades or dull blades so that doesn't worry me sharpen up the blades and it'll be fine but uh, other than that I like the mower I really am impressed with the speed of that mower and just the uh, just the way your body lays into it uh, rather than so when I'm on the grandstand I don't really lean on the pad at all I kind of just stand behind it if you guys that know grandstands you know because you're sitting by you're standing behind the tires so you actually have to you'd have to physically scooch up on it and the way the platform is on this Husqvarna and the way the the pad kind of wraps you kind of just you're naturally in the pad and it kind of just hugs onto you so it's really comfortable I liked it I like the bounce into the pad uh, the spring system that uh, control I mean you know the whatever whatever I'm trying to think the anti-fatigue or whatever it is it, it was comfortable to ride that's what it boils down to so anyway I'm gonna drive on out here and think about it some more and talk to uh, my guy here at the shop and see what happens